So we've got that. Let's read the scroll that we just got. Sister, Alexei was a man of God and my friend. Yeah, so that confirms that he did live with the Yuko and that uh, they had the stories about the Vamas. Mm -hmm. The key is in the light of the mammoth's eye. And we got a glass engraving of a mammoth. So that's the puzzle we need to solve now. Wonder if we can ring, uh, what's his name, Oscar, to tell him that Hans is being taken care of. Kate Walker, and just where <laughs> did you spend the night? Sound like my I'm mother. still at the monastery, Oscar. And have the monks cured, Mr. Farrellberg? Not really. Too much religion and not enough science. We can't give up hope on Mr. Farrellberg, Kate Walker. Count on me. Catch you later. Okay, so, you know, I just thought I'd ease his mind a bit. Plus, I always think the phone is a fun thing, but it's really underused in the game. Like, it's there, but you don't really need it. I think in the first game you need it to ring someone up exactly once to ask your mom about the opera singer. For something such a big part of the main menu it seems a bit sad it's not more useful. Then again you don't want to rely on the phone for everything so it's a bit difficult. Right. It's the library. Uh. Mhm. Oh, right, there's no point. Because uh, we do. This stick can help you lower uh, the candles so you can light them. But you need to light them in a certain order, and we do not know which order that is yet. Puzzles. Let's just look around a bit more in the other areas. Uh, so he's dead. Maybe we find something near the grave. Maybe not. <sighs> Just whiling away those celibate hours. Yeah, indeed. Oh, oh, oh. There was something there. Uh. Hmm. It's kind of steep. But with the sled, I could slide down the slope. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Always set your escape routes first before you plan. Uh. What on earth is that? It's a gravestone for the guy we're looking for. But obviously we can't read it yet. Time to find some hedge clippers. Or plant clippers. Garden clippers. Shears, if you will. Uh, and let's go here too. 
Nothing I can do. What's that? This is really amazing work all the same. Clean it. No. Uh, this one. Looks like it's the same one. Whiling away those cell can clean this one now. No, what have we done? We've ruined it. So cross two, three, two, or one, two, two, depending on how you look at it. I'm guessing that's all I need to do here. So let's go back to the library and try out that pattern. When I found that in the first game, all of the puzzles make a lot of make some sense, like the the lock where you ring the number that's on the plaque. And they basically give you the sequence that you need to punch in. Um, in this game, it seems that some of the puzzles are a lot more like arbitrary video game puzzles where you uh, get things like this where there's really no connection, there's really no indication whatsoever that you can wipe off part of a painting in a completely different building in order to get... Um, the solution for this puzzle. Nothing at all. Unless I missed something. Um, so the top one is on. And the two next ones are off. And then the two next ones are on. Three next ones are off, and the two next to that are on. Okay, it's an easy to remember sequence. There we go. at that light as in the mammoth's eye thing I also think I like the music better in the first game like the theme that they had there. Oh, look, it's, it's our train. And the, uh, the Borg of Brothers. Uh, Voila, there's our mammoth. Wrong. 
Oh, okay. It's the order in which I need to do it, isn't it? There we go. Off to the mammoth's eye, right here. It's nice of those monks to give the devil woman free reign of their entire monastery though. And library. Secret books. Alexei's notes and sketches from the frozen north starting in April 15, 1947. Loaded my bags and provisions onto a sled pulled by several sturdy healthy beasts and left the Romansburg monastery heading northwards in search of the mysterious peoples inhabiting the vast desolate wastes of the Siberian tundra. He likes long sentences. So He's going to convert them from their heathen shamanist beliefs. Traveled as a lowly trapper uh, because of political reasons, apparently. All right. Here he describes the Yuki and the Siberian bear. Uh, we've encountered the Yuki, that was the little animal we set free in the book of Brothers Things. And this says that the bear loves... Is it the bear or the Yuki? The Yuki is a glutton who loves orange salmon. Uh, the bear also likes it. They both like it. Affectionate but whimsical. It's basically a dog. Except less uh, trainable. The Yukols are the most fascinating ones, so he's going there. This is a Yukol religious mask. It looks a bit like an acorn, doesn't it? Representing the soul messenger. It also looks a bit like Oscar. Who guides the dying to the other world. The Yukols are fearful of him. He didn't arrive until October 27th, 1947. That's the first time he contacted the Yukols. And he describes a bit, we've known that uh, from the first game that they uh, built, uh, that there, there hasn't been much contact with the Yukol society. And that they, uh, had an interesting relationship with uh, the mammoths. Although he mentions here, traces of their presence have been found in Western Europe, more precisely in the heart of the French Alps in the prehistoric caves of Valadilan. How did he know that? Did he, like, in the 1940s, did he hear that from hands or is this just another sh inconsistency in the story because um, until I brought the mammoth doll to the university in Brockstadt the scientific community actually did not know that the Yukols had spread as far as the French Alps and the only person who knew about the doll outside of me was Hans Vorarlberg and his sister so unless Hans told him that, he shouldn't have known this. The Sacred Harfang. Friend, representative and incarnation. It's a pretty bird. Lemmings. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when the climate changed, they had to follow the mammoths further north. And that's how they ended up north of Siberia. Uh, basically says that they had a very symbiotic relationship with the mammoths. And that they kept on using the frozen mammoths. And that uh, at one point they ceased all contact with uh, civilization. Here it talks about the legend of the Siberian ice arc, a legend that um, we um, heard about in the first game when we attended the lecture by the professor in the university. Uh, so the tale is added here. This is the blue grass that uh, grows on the island of Siberia. And apparently it has very strong smell. A scarlet bramble. Scarlet bramble mixed with walrus blubber can be used as you call medicine. Fumes released by burning it have considerable healing properties only grows on the tomb of one whose soul is at peace guess whose tomb we found here at the end of the last I oh this is the legend of Siberia so the thing we're chasing really um, I'm not going to read it all out but I'll just flip through the pages relic as a, it's a little candle stand actually guess what we're going to do um, and let's go back to the graveyard because we've got the shears now so we can uh, cut the brambles And luckily we've also seen that there is a candle making machine right here in the monastery. Makes sense I guess they're monks. I'm not going to blame the game for that. All of them. So yeah. back to the entrance run 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 I do like this view this top down view nice different perspective I like it well now we already put uh, whatever you call that in there Put the branches in there. Mm. I need something else to activate it. What do I need? This? No. I already did that. I don't have any blubber. Matches? No, that's for lighting the candle, isn't it? Oh, of course I needed to close it. The how else is going to come out candle shaped? Voila. Beautiful herbal candle. Let's hope this works. Uh, where was he? This way. 
and then around the corner there. And the last door. Don't worry, I've got your weird medicine. It's all going to be all right. Mammoth, mammoth. <coughs> sure that helps clear your lungs, right? Enough smoke for one day. Okay, so we're just leaving that. Ready to go, How's Hans. it going? Kate, okay. Yes, what am I doing here? <sighs> it's a long story. Are we going yet? Yes. Can you walk? <sighs> I'd like to, but... <sighs> Don't move, Hans. I'm going to find a way to get us out of here. Really? Right. Because obviously we can't use like the elevators. That would be sane. Where's the adventure in that? Personally, I always jump through the highest window I can find in a building just to leave it. Because, you know. Some people like to make an entrance, I like this to make an exit. Gives me hmm. I need to talk to the overseer, or whatever his name was. I can't remember now. The grumpy guy. It's all bell now. We're leaving. Thanks for all your non-assistance. Got a key. Awesome. Except for that. A uh, little gate in the corner there, this one. Maybe if I go to the elevator, it will tell me why I can't leave the ele elevator. Everybody's gone now. <laughs> Tricked. Yeah. Good day to you, father. You must leave your friend now. We're going to take him away. But he's better. I've come to tell you we're leaving your monastery. I prohibit you. You hear? What? But Hans is cured now. There's no reason to hang around. He is not cured. It is an illusion of the devil. You have corrupted his soul, female, with your heathen hogwash. 
It is out of the question that Hans Vorarlberg leave this monastery. Good lord. I have followed Hans's instructions, and I have managed to treat him. What? You... you dared? Yes. Don't worry. He's feeling much better. Here, in this monastery? But that is blasphemy, Miss Walker. You have to account for this before God. But God didn't stop me, so he surely was fine with it. I'll tell you again, Father. Hans Varlberg and I are going to continue our journey. Together. Hans Varlberg is going no further, Miss Walker. Right, so that's why we can't take it. I warn you, I will not leave this place without Hans. War all you like, Miss Walker. Hans Vorlberg will only be leaving here in a box. We'll just see about that, Father. Hint, if you don't know what to do, and you came here first, and you talk to him. That was a big hint right there. He will be leaving in a box. But not dead. Uh... I wonder if that grave they're digging was for mint for hams, actually, or maybe one of their own monks is uh, dying as well. So grave digging in a snowy ground is very difficult work. I don't think I can. Hmm, it's kind of st Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go collect hands now. Let's hope his heart is not affected by the fever that he had. Just say, don't try this at home. What, Kate Walker? Let's go. Yes, Kate Walker. We must be quick. Quick. <laughs> we must be quicker, Hans. Quicker. There we go. Perfectly no! Beautiful. Do not go! <gasps> no! You must stay! Stop them! That was some ride, huh, Hans? Yes, it was real fun, Kate Walker. Really. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Hans? Mm hmm? Ready to go now? Also, why were they so evil in the monastery? Why? Hans, do you think we can carry on with our journey? There's just a spot of work I haven't finished. You'll have to help me, Kate. Of course. What can I do for you? Tell me. I have repaired the clockwork heart for the horses, but I'm too tired, too weak. Can you go to the cabaret and fit it instead of me, Kate? It's all right. I'll go. Don't worry. Get some rest. So, Hans? Mm -hmm. I hope this old patriarch is finally understood. The patriarch has a very closed mind. Yes. To put it mildly, the guy's a fanatic. 
He was crazy. A clockwork heart? What on earth is that, Hans? It's a tiny mechanism that makes the cabaret horses come to life. Hmm. But it must be real difficult to install. Oh, no. It's really very easy, Kate Walker. You will manage, I'm sure. All right. You feeling okay? Are you okay, Hans? Mm. It's going to be fine, Kate. I'm just a little weary. All right. Do you want me to take the heart to Sirkos? Sirkos is an old friend, but he is not a good mechanic. You will have to give him a hand installing it. Okay, I'm off. You have a rest. Don't See you talk. later. Hurry back. I will. As fast as my little legs can carry me. And before the patriarch starts a search party, sends his creepy monks all over town, knocking on doors, hauling off people who might have information on us. Uh, downstairs. 